Now what? There's something in the bathroom, Addy. It has a long green tail. A long green tail, Addy. Nah, I don't believe you. Oh, but it's true. And if you don't believe me, then you'll have no problem checking it out yourself. I'll play along. All right, Green Tail, where are you? Are you in here? Ah. Are you in here? I'm not seeing the Green Tail anywhere, Jillian. Where is it? I don't know. It might have gone down the toilet. All right. <gasps> Alligator! Jillian, there's an alligator in the toilet. That would explain why you screamed alligator a couple seconds ago. What's it doing in there, Jillian? Hey, when you gotta go, you gotta go. I mean, how did it get there? Do you think it came through the door? That's how we get in the house. I've heard that they can come in through the sewer system. A whole alligator can fit in those pipes? It happens all the time. People get a baby alligator, it looks real cute, it starts getting bigger, and they flush it down. That's really mean, but we have to get rid of that alligator. Yeah, we better get rid of it before it's too big to flush it down again. Normally this time we'd go to Dad and he'd say, Family conference. Yeah, the parents are out for the day. We're gonna need to figure this one out ourselves. Sister conference, yay! Now what do you think we should do about the alligator? It says here the best way to keep alligators out is to put a fence around your house. Yeah, that's not gonna work. We already have a fence around our house, and the alligator came in through the pipes. Oh yeah, it did, didn't it? Well, it says here that another way to keep alligators out is to drain any bodies of water near your house. Yeah, I don't think Dad would like it if we drain the pool. Oh, and did I mention that the alligator's already inside the house? Well, it's obvious I'm not gonna give any good ideas. What do you got? I think we just need to show that alligator who's boss, if you know what I mean. Hmm. Who would be the boss of the alligators? There must be some big alligator boss. No, I mean, we show it who's boss by hitting it with a bat. Violence is never the solution, Addy. Except when it comes to alligators, then violence is the answer. Well, we can give it a try. What's the plan? We go down to the bathroom, you lift up the toilet lid, and I hit it in the face with the bat, scaring it away. Do alligators even have faces? It doesn't really matter where I hit it, as long as I scare it away. Well, you're the one who oddly specified that you would hit it in the face. Let's just do this. Addy, make sure this hit counts. I can't see myself using this bathroom unless I know that thing's gone. All you gotta do is lift the lid. I'll take care of the rest. Here we go. One, two, three. Ow! Did I kill it? I heard it say ow. That was me. Jillian, you got in the way of my bat. Yeah, it might help your aim a little bit if you open your eyes. So where'd the alligator go? Well, he's not in here. He might have gone down the drain again. I just hope he's gone for good. <laughs> Is something wrong, Addy? Jillian, don't move. I'm just gonna raise my bat and... Wow! Ow! Man, I even had my eyes open that time. Why did you do that? Because the alligator's right beside you. I mean, he was. Where'd he go? <laughs> yeah, I'm out of here. But he's right in here! We just need your bat! Ugh. Alligator! 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 Well, I think that went pretty well, don't you? No, you hit me in the head twice with a bat, and the alligator's still in the bathroom. Well, maybe you think you could do a better job. Yeah, give me that bat and I'll show you. I think I'll just be keeping this. Any other plans? There's gotta be a more high-tech solution than just hitting it with a bat. Aha! Ooh, is it a laser-shooting robot trained to kill alligators? No. Is it a mutant alligator superhero who goes through the sewer pipes dispensing justice? 
Yes! No! Why would you even say that? Why would you even think I would say that? Well, you better tell me, because I'm out of guesses. There's a repellent that you can flush down your drains. It'll keep all the alligators away. Hey, that sounds like the perfect answer. Eh, it says it'll take four to six weeks for delivery. Well, maybe we can come up with our own repellent. Yeah, we just need to mix together a few things that an alligator doesn't like and send that down the drain. Hmm, what don't alligators like? Well, it says here the active ingredient is cayenne pepper. So you think we can just mix together some hot sauce and water? Well, that's kind of simplistic, but I think it's worth a shot. Great, I've been looking for an excuse to use these. Hey, where'd you get those? You never know when you're gonna need to repel some alligators. Well, he's not in there. He must be in the toilet. You flip up the lid this time. I don't want to end up with hot sauce on my head. Good idea. Hey, he's not in there either. Maybe he's gone for good this time. I'm pouring this stuff down just in case. Yeah, if that gator's in those pipes, he's gonna get a little hot sauce surprise. That's all. I guess we just wait. Well, we don't have to wait in here. Julian, look! Ah, oh, the alligator! That was a close one. Yeah, it brought back old memories. You have old memories of being chased around your house by an alligator? No, but I do have old memories of being chased around the house by a chicken. Ah, uh, good times, good times. No, wait, those weren't good times. So, any other ideas? Well, now that you mentioned the chicken, maybe we could use the chicken to lure the alligator away. That's right, alligators eat chickens. Too bad we haven't seen the chicken in months. Um, Addy? Wait, is the chicken right beside me? The chicken's right beside me. Run! The alligator's back! Let's go back. <gasps> ah, the chicken's back! Alligator on one side, chicken on the other. We're doomed. Never thought it'd end this way. I'll take my chances with the chicken. Good idea. Hey, the chicken just let us walk right past it. It's probably so terrified by that alligator, it can't even move. Wait a minute. It's not afraid of that alligator. You're right. Ew, they're in love! I hope they can find happiness together. Yeah, we're not gonna judge. Ooh, didn't see that coming. That alligator wasn't in love with that chicken. I think it was just hypnotizing it. Dang, nature, you be scary. Welp, sounds like he's moving on to another house. The chicken will be okay, won't he? Oh, yeah, he'll be fine. I mean, he always comes back, doesn't he? Yeah, we haven't been able to get rid of that chicken yet. One little alligator isn't going to stall him for long. Eh, you may be right. This is the perfect way to get Jillian back for that hook man gag. Now to just sit back and watch the fireworks. Hey, what are you doing? Oh, I'm just reading a little story. What kind of story? It's way too scary for you. I want to hear it. It's more for teens and up. Addie, I'm a teenager, 
and I'm older than you. Okay, but you have to promise me you won't be scared later. I think I'll be fine. A long time ago, not far from here, there was a girl who had a beehive hairdo. Wait, are you gonna use that stupid voice the whole story? That's my storytelling voice. Lose it. Alright, anyway, a long time ago there was this girl who had a beehive hairdo. She had bees living in her hair? No, they call them that because they're shaped like a beehive. Aren't beehives shaped like white boxes? No, it's more like Marge Simpson's hair. And people thought this was a good thing? Anyway, these beehive hairdos took a long time to make, and this one girl was lazy and didn't feel like redoing it every day. Wait, so she didn't wash her hair every day? Right. Every day she just woke up and touched it up with a little layer of hairspray. Ew, wouldn't that get crusty after a while? You're right, Jillian. Eventually, her hair was coated in a hard shell of hairspray. Ew, this story is scary. Eventually, the girl's scalp began to itch, but she still wouldn't wash her hair. Yeah, uh, itchy scalp is pretty much nature's way of telling you you need to wash your hair. Soon the itching turned into headaches that got worse and worse. So she finally washed her hair in happy ending, right? <laughs> Sweet little naive Jillian. No, she couldn't wash her hair. Why not? She tried, but the layers of hairspray were too thick and it repelled the water like a raincoat. So what did she do? Meanwhile, the headaches and the itching were getting so bad that the girl was going crazy, so her parents took her to the hospital. Hospital? Why not a really good hairstylist? This was bigger than a hair problem, Jillian. She was going crazy and she had headaches. Aren't hairstylists a form of doctor? No, they're not. So what did the doctor do? First, he took an x-ray of her head, but found nothing. She had nothing in her head? This explains a lot. No, they couldn't find anything out of the ordinary, so we took out a saw that they used for cutting off casts. Cats? No, casts! Like when you break your arm and you get a cast? Don't threaten to break my arm. Anyway, he used the saw to cut open her hair. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. But when they looked inside, most of her hair was gone. It was just a big hollow space. Held in place by hairspray. But when they looked inside with the flashlight, they saw... Her itchy scalp? A thousand spiders came pouring out. They were living in her hair the whole time. Ooh, I bet that's what was making her head so itchy. My sister the genius. <sighs> that story was kind of boring. You mean you're not creeped out? Mm, nah. Maybe your scalp's feeling a little itchy? No. And now, on a completely unrelated note, I need to brush my hair. Make sure you use your favorite brush, mwahahaha. <laughs> That's oddly specific. So, Jillian, is there anything unusual happening? What do you mean? How's your brush look? Looks fine. <laughs> Give me that thing. Where is it? Where's what? The spider, you fool! Don't you see? This entire story was just a setup to terrify and amaze you! Well, maybe not amaze you. Great prank, Addy. The spider must have fallen to the floor. Uh, Addy? Don't bug me, Jillian. Can't you see I'm busy looking for the spider? But Addy, there's a sp- 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 What, Spongebob? Sp- 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 Spaceship? No, it's a sp- Sp- Spuds McKenzie? No, it's a spider, you fool! Oh, I get it. Sure, there's a spider on me, Jillian. 
But there really is, and it's right there on your shoulder. Oh, I get it. It's gonna be the same fake plastic spider that I put on your brush. Patty, why don't you just check and find out? It's a real spider. Ah! There she goes. <laughs> I saw that spider on my brush right away. It was just a matter of putting it on her shoulder. I even keep an extra big spider for special occasions. Hey Jillian, do you know why Addie's running around the house screaming about spiders? Oh, that's just a game we play. You know, ah, there's a spider on me. Man, you kids are weird. Speaking of weird, what's with the new hairdo? New? It's been like this for a month. Haven't you noticed? Oh, that's because I try not to look at you. So what do you think? <laughs> it's nice, I guess, but it must be a lot of maintenance. Eh, it's not that big of a deal. Every hour or so, I just touch it up with a little more hairspray. Oh, there goes my hourly alarm. Oh, and how's that been working out for you? Now that you mention it, my scalp has been pretty itchy lately. Actually, it's more like a pounding headache. I think you really need to wash it in scalding hot water, outside if possible. Man, it's really getting itchy. Hey, this won't come off. Ah, ah. Oh no, the thing that happened in the story is happening right now. Jillian, stay back. I'm gonna knock this beehive over. Oh. Uh, Addie, you're gonna wanna aim about three feet higher. Oops, sorry. Got it. Hey, my scalp's not itchy anymore. <laughs> Gee, if you don't like my new hairstyle, you don't have to be rude about it. What are you screaming about? I don't know, everyone else was, so I figured I'd chime in. But I was screaming because I was scared. You were pretty scared, weren't you? <laughs> Wait a minute, are you telling me this was all a joke? It was, and I gotcha. Wait, so Dad's hair wasn't really like that? Oh, it was. But those fake spiders was just a little something extra I added while he was napping. That seems pretty elaborate. Why did you go through all this trouble? After that hookman prank, I had to get you back in an even bigger way. Does this at least mean we're even now? Yeah, let's hug it out. Whatever. Let's never prank each other again, okay? Alright, Jillian. <laughs> bored, bored, I'm so bored, 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 I'm so bored. Do you have a song called I'm So Annoying? You're not particularly annoying, Jillian. I meant you. Well, the problem is here, Jillian. Well, I don't know how to put it, but boardy board, I'm so bored. Boardy board, I'm so bored. Shh. Just stop now. But Jillian, what should I do? Hmm. Ah, I know what you're gonna do. What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? I'm so bored. You're gonna go on a snipe hunt. Oh, a snipe hunt. That sounds so fun. That sounds so cool. What's a snipe hunt? You've never heard of a snipe hunt? They're so much fun. You get to hunt the snipe. What's a snipe, Jillian? Well, it's kind of an elusive creature. Some people say it's like a weasel. Some people say it's like a bird. Could it even be like a bird weasel? Exactly. Some people say it has a bushy tail and it makes like a chittering sound. Ooh, it sounds so cute. Could I have a snipe pet for my very own? That's where snipe hunting comes in. If you can catch it, you can keep it. That's the law. 
But how does one go about catching a snipe? You need a snipe hunting kit, and I'll sell you one for only five dollars. Hmm, all I got's twenty. I'll take that, you'll just owe me. Seems fair enough, where's my snipe hunting kit? Well, you just close your eyes and I'll go get it. I don't want you to know where my snipe hunting supply shed is. Seems fair. One, two, three, four- Why are you counting? What? Oh, sorry, force of habit. All right, Addy, you can open your eyes. Whoa! The first thing you'll need in snipe hunting is a net. Here you go. Whoa, I bet I'd catch a million snipes with this thing. The next thing you'll need is a place to put your snipes. This high strength polymer snipe holding case. Hey, that looks like my pillowcase. I wanted to have a design you'd be comfortable with. How considerate. Sometimes snipes will hide in dark corners. That's why you need this headlamp. Give me that. Cool. All right, you're ready for some snipe hunting. Well, what do I do, Jillian? I'm not the expert that you are on snipe hunting. Well, you need to learn the snipe call. It goes a little something like this. Snipe! 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 That's the coolest thing you've ever done! You think you can do it? Wait, wait, let me try. Snipe! 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 Ooh, you sound a little like Al Green. Jillian, can you show me where the snipes are? Well, if I knew exactly where they were, it wouldn't be hunting. But I'll give you a little preliminary guidance. Is this where the snipes are, Jillian? Maybe. Do the call. Snipe! 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 Snipe, snipe, snipe! I don't see any snipes yet, Jillian. I mean, snipes. It's very important that you pronounce it correctly. Otherwise, you will lose all credibility with the snipes. I bet there's some right around the corner. Lights on! Go get them, tiger! Ooh, it looks dark down there, Jillian. Good thing I have my headlamp. Yep, or we could just turn on the lights. Part of me wants to catch those snipes by snipe prize. And part of you will trip and fall down the stairs if you can't see where you're going. Good point. Snipe! Snipe! I don't see any snipes down here, Jillian. Yeah, I guess. What was that? Who, what, where, what, when? I think there's a snipe over in the corner. Where, 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 where? I think it's behind the ice ball game. <gasps> Come on out of there, Snipes. Come on out of there. Come on out of there, Snipes. Come on, Snipes. Come out of there. Come on. Addy, it's on your back. <laughs> Did you get it? Is it in your net? I dwapped my net. Hmm. I think it went into the theater. I don't know if I could- what? Here you go. Now go in that theater and flush out that snipe. The, the, the dark theater? Yep, completely alone. Except for the snipes, I guess. Don't let them nibble on your toes, Addy. You neglected to wear shoes, didn't you? <laughs> Happy hunting!
Don't forget the snipe call. Snipe, 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 snipe. Ah, oh, Jillian, Jillian, I'm locked in here with the snipes. Jillian, Jillian, Jillian. <laughs> Hello. Jillian, I don't know if I'm cut out for snipe hunting. Nonsense! You haven't even caught your first one yet. I didn't realize it would be so intense. I thought they would just kind of run and jump into the net, you know? Well, you can't stop now, or the snipe's curse will get ya. Snipe curse? Ah! What's the snipe curse? Well, if you quit snipe hunting before you even catch your first snipe, then the snipes will haunt you in your dreams, and they'll nibble on your toes and your fingers, and slowly but surely, you will become a snipe. Seems fair enough. Well, you're doing a good job here. I'm just gonna kinda let you do your thing on your own. Gee, thanks. Snipe, snipe. 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 Addie, what are you doing? I'm hunting for snipes. Ah, snipe hunt, eh? That's a great prank. Wait a minute, what's this about a prank? Oh, well, a snipe hunt is kind of a fool's errand. It's something you do to trick the new guy. Trick the new guy? I guess I'm the new guy. I guess Jillian put you up to this. She got you pretty good. She sure did. If only there was some way I could get back at her. Maybe there is a way. <laughs> no, there, there is a way. Jillian! Jillian! I caught a snipe! I really caught a snipe! Wait, you actually caught a snipe? How's that even possible? I did everything you said, and I caught one! I really caught one! He just got away. Ah! Where did it go? Jillian, look! Jillian, get over here and look! Jillian, look! Ah! There really is a snipe! There really, really is a snipe! What do we do, Addy? What do we do, Addy? What do we do? Well, you're the snipe expert. You taught me everything I know about catching snipes. Right, so what is it we do again? Well, first you're gonna need your net. Right, the net. Then what? Now you're gonna need your high-strength polymer snipe case. Right, we can put them in here. This is great. What else do you got? And snipes like dark places, so you're gonna need this headlamp. Perfect. I suggest something new. Since no one's gonna believe that we actually caught a snipe, we're gonna get this all on video. Ooh, good idea. And recording. Now start doing your snipe call. Snipe, 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 snipe. Jillian, look! <laughs> Did you get that on camera? Dang it! He's headed for the theater! Come on! Will you come in with me? Jillian, it's best if you go alone. That's how I caught the snipe. <coughs> oh, that's right, I got that. I got that on camera. Dad, we have to get out of here. There's a snipe loose in the house. Here's your snipe. It's just my remote control rat. But the bag! Addy had it in the bag! Addy had this in the bag. The rest was just good acting. You see, snipe hunting's all in good fun, but you can't take things too far. 
Yeah, what I did was fun. This is just me. And I got it all on camera. TikTok, here I come. Well, I guess the good news is there aren't any real snipes. Addie? Now I'm gonna get her back for all those pranks. Jillian, are you back here? Ah, perfect timing. Yeah, Addie, I'm back here! What are you up to? Not much. I was just reading a spooky story. Oh yeah? Yeah, but you'd probably be too scared to hear it. I won't be scared of some stupid story you tell me. Eh, it's more of a story for teenagers. I'm old enough to handle it. Come on. Well, you have to promise that you won't complain to Mom and Dad if you get scared. I promise. Okay, but we better sit down first. I was reading about this teenage couple that went out on a movie date together. Wow, that is terrifying. That's not the scary part, although they did see a scary movie, but it's what happened later. What happened? They drove out to that lookout point near Crystal Lake. Oh yeah, Dad took us fishing there last year. Yeah, but this was at night, so it was super dark outside and there weren't any other cars around. I guess that place would be a little creepy at night. So anyway, they're sitting there and they're listening to music on the radio, but suddenly they break in with a news announcement. Oh no, a news announcement! Ha ha. Anyway, it turns out that a homicidal maniac escaped from a nearby mental institution and now he's on the loose. What did he do to get institutionalized? He was a homicidal maniac. Fair enough. Anyway, the news report says to keep a lookout for him. He's easy to recognize because he's missing a hand, and he has a hook instead. What other distinguishing characteristics did he have? I'd call a hook hand a pretty distinguishing characteristic. It doesn't seem fair to just lump all the people with hook hands into one group. I don't know, that's what the radio report said. You'd think they would say his hair color or what he was wearing. I mean, he could just hide his hook hand. What he was wearing? He was probably wearing a straight jacket if he just came out of the institution, am I right? Anyway, so the girl hears the news report and she wants to go home right away. But her boyfriend keeps telling her that everything's gonna be alright. Why did he want to stay out alone in the car with this girl so bad? Oh, uh, I don't know. Maybe he was a stargazer. Come on, I'm not that naive. So anyway, eventually the girl convinces him to leave, and they drive out of there real fast. This is the first smart thing these people have done in this story. So when they get to her house, he comes around the car to open her door for her. What a gentleman. But he stops and screams. The guy screamed? I can't say I've ever heard a guy scream. For there, hanging on the door handle, was a bloody hook. That seems kind of random. Is someone fishing nearby? No, that means that they pulled away just in time, right as the hook man was about to open the car door. Aw. No, not aw. It's more like ooh or ah. I kind of feel bad for the hook man. All he was trying to do was open the door. Yeah, so he could kill them. I find this story is a little biased against homicidal maniacs. So anyway, the couple just escaped the hook man's clutches. Didn't they hear him screaming? I mean, it must have really hurt whenever his hook got ripped off. I don't know. They had the radio on and the car engine was kind of loud. Okay, so then what happened? That's it. That's the story. The hook man almost got them, but they got away. <sighs> I don't know, Julian. That was a pretty long and boring story. 
Oh, but I think maybe you're afraid. No, I'm not afraid, but I am going to go lock myself in my room for a completely unrelated reason. Good idea. Make sure to close the door tightly behind you using the doorknob on the inside of the door. That seems oddly specific. When she sees that hook, she's gonna go nuts! Hey Addy, see anything unusual in there? No, I don't see anything unusual in here. Nothing in there that might cause you concern? Nope, nothing in here. Look down at your doorknob! I don't see anything. It must have fallen off when she opened the door. What must have fallen off when I opened the door? Just check the floor for anything unusual. I don't see anything unusual. Ugh, let me show you. Where did it go? Where did what go? Oh, I get it. You found it and now you're trying to prank me. Good one. I have no idea what you're talking about. You know, the hook that was hanging on the doorknob? Jillian, I swear, there was no hook on the doorknob, or on the floor, or anywhere else. Sure there wasn't. Alright, Addy, you win this round. <gasps> Jillian, I found the hook. Where? Did it roll under the bed? No, it's not in here. Well then, how could you have found it? It's hanging from the back of your neck. Sure it is. You might have fooled me once, but you're not gonna fool me a second time. Just reach around. Don't you feel something hanging on your back? I'll humor you. See, I told you. Ah, the hook man's in our house! Here's the hook that she hung on my doorknob. I put the other hook on her neck whenever I yawned. <sighs> I don't know, Jillian. That was a pretty long and boring story. And where did I get this hook? Jillian made the mistake of buying a two-pack of hooks and leaving one under the couch cushion. I saw it there, so I knew something was up. Who are you talking to, Addie? Oh, hi, Dad. Jillian's running around screaming something about a hook man being in the house. Oh, that's just one of those weird games we play with each other. See? Hook man. You girls are weird. Wait, I didn't put that hook there. Dad, there really is a hook man in the house! Gotcha! I'm the one who put the hook on Dad. Alright, you got me. I sure did. Jillian, if you put that hook on Dad, and I still have this hook, then who put that hook over there? I don't know. Dad, maybe? Hey girls, I found this hook on my back. Oh no. Jillian, Jillian! Yes? Oh, Jillian, there's a skeleton in the hot tub! I know there's a skeleton in the hot tub. We have to do something and we- Wait. What do you mean you know? I put one of my enemies in the hot tub and slammed it shut. Really? Yeah, he's gonna boil in there until he's nothing but bones. Aw, oh, Dad's gonna be mad at you for ruining the hot tub. Addie, I'm just kidding around. And obviously you are too, so be gone. You mean you don't have enemies? 
Oh, I have enemies, all right, but they've already been taken care of. Just come out and look at the skeleton in the hot tub. I know you don't believe me. What do you say, Paco? Should I do this? That looks like a yes to me. He's right in there, Jillian. You can check for yourself. Is the skeleton invisible by chance? He was in there a minute ago, I swear! Uh-huh. No skeleton. Hmm. A clue! Aha! I'm gonna follow your drip trail, skeleton. Ah! He's in the pool! Jillian! Jillian! Now what? Skeleton's back! Back in the hot tub again? No, he moved into the pool. I followed his drip trail. So the skeleton's in the pool? Yeah, that's what I said. Hurry up and see him before he moves again. Yeah, I sure wouldn't want to miss this. He's gone! Uh-huh. But look, Jillian, you can see the drip trail still there. You could have made that drip trail. Why would I make a drip trail? Maybe you had too much lemonade. Maybe there's a new drip trail. There is a new drip trail. The slide. <gasps> ah, the skeleton's on the slide. He has the high ground. Jillian, Jillian. Shh. He's snoring. Aw, uh, that's adorable. Never mind that. The skeleton's on top of the pull slide. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I have a question. Was it the same skeleton that was in the pool? Th it, of course it is! And wait a minute, wait a minute. I have another question. Is it the same skeleton that was in the hot tub? Yeah, I mean, I guess so. All skeletons look alike. <gasps> oh, Addy. Anyway, he was in the hot tub, he was in the pool, and now he's at the top of the slide. You have to go see this. You know what? I'm good. I can picture it. Really? Yeah, I can picture me going out there and there's nothing on top of the slide. Because this is all made up. Jillian, you have to believe me. The drip trail led the way. Here we go again with the drip trail. You know, before today, I never even heard that term. Just come look at the skeleton. See, Jillian, what I tell you, right on top of the slide. What? See, Addy, what did I tell you? No skeleton on top of the slide. It's not fair. He must have slid down into the pool or something. Okay, let's go look at the bottom of the pool. Dang it, that sneaky skeleton. So you think the skeleton's here every time you come outside, but sneaks away every time I come outside? Yeah, he must not like you. Where's your drip trail, anyway? It's hot out, Jillian. It evaporated. Mm-hmm.
convenient. I just know that skeleton's sneaking around somewhere. I just need to find a clue. Julian! You're looking rather flushed. It's because I'm running and it's hot outside. Oh, and did I mention that there's a skeleton in the pool house? No, but he seems to be just about everywhere else. You have to see him this time. He's cornered. He can't get away. So you locked him in the pool house? Good thinking. Uh, yeah, that's what I did. I locked him in the pool house. He sure isn't gonna be able to get out. Except if I come to look at him, right? Let's just get this over with. Seat cushions. Julian, the skeleton was in here, I swear. Well, he's not in here now. She's never gonna believe me. The skeleton! No, I better not go, or else you'll just go somewhere else. Hmm, if only there was a way that I could contact Jillian without leaving this spot. Some sort of machine or device. Hello? Jillian? Oh, thank goodness you called. The skeleton's out here in the hot tub. Again. I'm not taking my eyes off him until you get out here. That way there's no way he can sneak away. Fine, I'll play along. Do you see it? You do see it, don't you, Jillian? Well, I'll be danged. Why do you think a skeleton would even be in a hot tub anyway? Maybe he has sore muscles. Skeletons don't have any muscles. Maybe he has sore joints. Dad's never gonna believe this. Yeah, if only there was some way we could record images and sound. Use your phone. Oh yeah. Dang, it's all out of power. This wouldn't have happened if you wouldn't have called me. I'll just go get my phone, leaving you completely alone with the skeleton. Don't leave me completely alone with the skeleton, Jillian. I'm scared. Fine, you can go get my phone for me and I'll stay completely alone with the skeleton. Okay, where is it? He's right there in the hot tub, don't you see him? I meant your phone, not the skeleton. It's on the gray couch. Gray couch? What gray couch? Just go get my phone, Addy. So, how you doing? You probably feel kinda weird that we want to record you while you're using the hot tub, huh? You're the one who made it weird. <gasps> you're not even wearing swimming trunks. Julian, I can't find your phone. I think Paco ate it. Again? Paco? What should we do? My old phone still works. Okay, tell me where it is. I'll get it. I think it's in Paco's litter box. Ew, I'm not getting that. Fine, I'll go get it. You stay here and keep an eye on the skeleton. You don't try going anywhere, you sneaky skeleton. We got your number. All I have to do is just sit here and let nothing distract me. Is that a bee? It is a bee! Ah! The bees are coming! The bees are coming! The bees are coming! Ah! Jillian! Why aren't you watching the skeleton? What part of the bees are coming don't you understand? Let's go see if he's still there. And he's gone. I'm sorry, Jillian, but the bees were coming. The bees were coming. The bees were coming. That's alright. 
He won't get far anyways. He didn't have swim trunks or a towel. Jillian! What? Jillian, there's an alligator in the swimming pool. Did you name him? What? I tell you there's an alligator in the swimming pool and the first thing you ask is, did you name him? Well, did you? Fine, we'll call him Alvin. Anyway, there's an alligator in the pool. Was it the same one that got in the bathroom earlier this year? I don't know, I didn't stop to ask while he was trying to bite my toes off. You're so easily distracted. Anyway, you gotta come see this alligator. Ah, the alligator! Where? Where? I don't see the alligator. I don't get it. It was just out here. Maybe it went into the pipes again. Well, there you go. Problem solved. Well, if it did get into the pipes, it might be in the filter. I better check. Here goes nothing. Jillian, Jillian! Yes? After you left, I checked the pool filter and the alligator was in it. Well, there you go. Problem solved. The alligator's been filtered out. Stop saying problem solved. There is an alligator in our pool filter. Better the filter than the pool itself, am I right? So what, I'm supposed to just use the pool now without thinking of the alligator that's in the filter? Well, you could just do what Dad does whenever something nasty gets in the filter. You know, like whenever there's a dead mouse or a dead frog, he- Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, dead mice and dead frogs get in that filter? Oh yeah, all the time. You should have seen the one time he- So we swim in that water? That dead mouse, dead frog water? You do. I don't. I'm not going in that pool. Well, anyway, what does he do when something nasty gets caught in the filter? He just uses a net and fishes it out and flings it over the fence. Then it's the neighbor's problem. I don't know if I can do that, Jillian. What if it tries to crawl out of the net? Eh, how big can an alligator get? Like 20 feet, Jillian, and sometimes they eat people. If it's caught in the filter, I doubt it's 20 feet long. Fine, I'll go take care of it. Here, Alvin. Here, Alvin. Come on, Alvin. Come on, Alvin. Here we go. Oh my! There was nothing in there. He must have gotten back into the pipes. That's the only explanation.
Jillian, Jillian! So, how's Alvin? Who's Alvin? Oh, he's in the hot tub. Sounds therapeutic. Perhaps he strained a muscle going through all those pipes. But don't you know what this means, Jillian? Alligators have feelings too? No, well, maybe it does, but he's in the hot tub. You can see him. And when I go out there, he'll magically be gone. No, I slammed the hot tub lid shut, eh? Ah, yes. You would never think of just lifting the hot tub lid up and getting out the same way he got in. Ooh, you're right. We better hurry before he figures it out. All right, Alvin, if you're in there, then just come out. No more messing around. You better open it, Jillian. I'm scared the alligator will bite my arm. Oh my gosh! Is it the alligator? It's the alligator, isn't it? No, our chlorine levels are low. I don't get it, he was just there. Well, he's not there now. Jillian, look! Ah! There's an alligator in the pool! Addy, there's an alligator in the pool! There's an alligator in the pool! I know. I'm the one who told you first. Well, what are we gonna do, Addy? First step. Let's establish that mom and dad aren't here. Check. They're going grocery shopping, going for a walk, or talking to the neighbors. One of those things. Yeah, I kind of figured that. Step two. Why aren't we calling animal control again? Oh, well, they're not taking our calls anymore after we called about the abominable snowman, the sasquatch, the gorilla, the alligator in our bathroom. You get the idea. Don't forget the deer. That was a very popular episode. Ooh, did we call animal control about Siren Head? Siren Head's not an animal. Eh, I must have been thinking about Cartoon Cat. So anyway, no parents, no animal control. How did we get rid of the alligator last time? It fell in love with the chicken. Oh yeah, that was so awkward, but didn't it end up eating the chicken? Presumably, but then the chicken turned up in the earworm episode. Hmm, he must have somehow survived being eaten by an alligator. That gives me hope. If a chicken can survive being eaten by an alligator, then maybe we can survive being eaten by an alligator. Problem solved. Can we just come up with a solution that doesn't involve me being eaten by an alligator? Ugh, you always want to do things the hard way. Hey, I know. Alligators out there, I'm in here. As you would say, problem solved. But what if you want to use the swimming pool, Addy? Eh, it's mid-September. We're going to be closing that swimming pool pretty soon anyway. But what's the alligator gonna do? Once no one's swimming anymore, he'll probably just get bored and leave. Won't he go looking for a new home? Ooh, you're right. I better go lock that porch door. And you want me to come along with you? Please? <sighs> I don't see the alligator anywhere. Maybe he went in the hot tub again. You want to look? No. We'll lock this door too. Jillian, I thought we were the only people in the house. I don't think that was a people. <laughs> ah! The alligator! 
how to get in the house, Addy. Your plan was that it was in the pool and we would stay in here. So how did it get in the house? It must have got in through the pipes. Ah, always with the pipes. Well, now it can get anywhere that there's pipes in the house. Don't worry, how many pipes could there possibly be in a house? Addy, I think he's in our bathroom now. Fine, it's fine. We'll just never use that bathroom again or any other bathroom in this house. I'm sick of being scared of my own house. I say we go on the offense. Ooh, my karate training punch pad. It's time to go hunt some alligator. All right, alligator, come out of there. Addy, open the door so I can hit the alligator. Hit him, Jillian! Ow! He's in pain, I heard him say ouch. If it says ouch, we can kill it. Okay, okay, it's just me. Ah, Dad has an alligator growing out of his hand. Kill it! No, 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 I was just playing a little prank on you guys. What kind of prank involves terrorizing children with an alligator? I want to know. I told you guys if you didn't clean this bathroom, you'd have all kinds of critters running around in here. I was just trying to teach you a lesson. Couldn't you just ground us like every other normal parent? Okay, but how did you have the alligator appear in the swimming pool? I didn't make an alligator appear in the swimming pool. What are you talking about? We better show him, Addy. Merchy, merchy, merch, 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 Hey! If you like Jillian and Addy videos, you're gonna love our merch. With a wide variety of products and designs, there's something for everyone. Just click on the links below, and they'll take you to our Teespring store. Or just go to JillianandAddy.com. It's all good. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe. Be sure to check out our other two channels. There's Jillian and Addy, our main channel, and Jillian and Addy Life, our vlogging channel. They're a ton of fun. Tell us what you thought about this video on Instagram. We also post new pictures, videos, and stories most every day. We even post sneak previews of our upcoming videos, like this one. And remember, stay scared. Bye! Were you really scared of E.T. though? No, I've never watched E.T. Oh, you screamed. There's scary parts. There's scary 